as their option of the second half. So we will have Montgomery kicking off as Notre Dame, of course, will elect to receive the ball. And Tim Brown and Hiawatha Francisco in the deep net. Short kick. And they let Brown handle a short kick. He takes it to the seven-yard line. Good speed and a lane to go off. And there goes Tim Brown across the 50. And goodbye, Tim Brown will score. I hope there weren't a lot of people out eating hot dogs at halftime. <laughs> the fact to see this, Tim Brown, he just makes a cut. Once he goes into the wedge, he makes a cut to the left, and he just outran everyone. What a beautiful run. Those kind of runs, Jimmy, don't even get tired when it's over with. That may be what the Irish need. They could have been leading by 10. They went up tied at 7, and now they got a 6 to maybe a 7-point lead as Carney comes on to kick the ball, and indeed they have a 7-point lead. It is 14 to 14-7, Notre Dame. Jim, when you see Brown here on this kickoff return, watch the move that he makes when he gets up into the wedge. He'll move it to the left. And once he does that, no one's stopping. The outside people are trying to convert. They overrun it at that point. Now, when he gets outside, that's Larson, number three, that misses. It's all over. No one's going to catch Brown. He is gone. Officially, 93 yards for Tim Brown. But the scoreboard is what matters. The Irish lead by seven, and now Michigan State, with only 11 seconds off the clock, find themselves down by a touchdown.